Welcome to Two Guys in a Ride. Today we're going to review the 2021 Porsche Macan S. I'll tell you about the horsepower, cargo, dimensions, and safety. And I'll tell you about the interior, the controls, and all the technology. Before we get started, take a minute, click that subscribe button down below, and hit that bell notification so you never miss one of our videos. That's right. So, what do you say, Nate? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. Today, we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos, selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz in Minnetonka, Minnesota. The Porsche name has become synonymous with sports cars and race cars because that is what company founders Ferdinand Porsche and his son Ferry set out to build when they first set up shop in 1948. Well, you know, from the 356 to the 911 and from the Cayenne to now this, the Macan, the name Porsche is synonymous with racing. And to date, Porsche cars have won an estimated 24,000 auto races around the world, including more than 50 class wins at Le Mans. You know, it was a humble beginning way back in 1948, but Porsche was determined to build legendary sports cars while holding firm to their roots, but always looking towards the future. Now, there's a little bit of discussion here in this video. We're going to say Porsche, but if you are a fan that says Porsche, leave us a comment. So Porsche, vote for number one. Porsche, vote for number two. And leave us a comment below as to how you pronounce this brand's name. This is one of Porsche, Porsche's newest sports car. This is a 2021 Porsche Macan S and it's available in four trim levels. There's the base Macan starts at 52,100, the S at 60,200, the GTS 72,100, and the Macan Turbo at 84,600. This Porsche Macan S is presented here in beautiful jet black metallic and it has an awesome garnet red and black interior and an MSRP of $74,260. It is powered by a three liter intercooled turbocharged V6 producing 348 horsepower and 350 pound foot of torque. It also does have a regenerative alternator and an external engine oil cooler. It's driven by a seven speed PDK automatic transmission and it also has Porsche traction management, active all wheel drive with electronic and map controlled multi-plate clutch with auto brake differential and anti-slip regulation. Now, out front we see these are fully automatic projector beam LED low and high beam headlights with auto leveling and they do have the delay off and you can see it does have that signature well i guess we do have it off right now the signature daytime running lights the four points and fog lights as well it's got a big black matte uh, grill and i like the chrome blade type led uh, turn signals and that beautiful big body colored bumper with black rub strip fascia and there are parking sensors as well. It does have matte black lower air intakes and a splitter and of course this is a clamshell hood and up top these are rain sensing variable intermittent wipers. One quick aside I love again these air intakes because you can see right inside they are functional as well. All right let's take a look around the side. Okay, along the side, these are what Porsche calls their 19-inch Macan design wheels, and they're wrapped in 235-55 R19 all-season tires up front, and 255-50 R19 all-season tires at the rear. On the front brakes, they are six-piston aluminum monoblock fixed calipers, and they're finished in nice titanium gray with 366 millimeter internally vented brake disc, and out back, it is a single piston floating caliper with 330 millimeter internally ventilated brake disc rotors. The front suspension is double wishbone with coil springs and anti-roll bar and the rear is independent multi-link with gas shocks and anti-roll bar as well. 
Just above the rocker panels down below are the uh, Porsche Sport Design Blades in matte black, and they harken back and are reminiscent of the 918 Spider. And of course, right here, these are body colored, powered with tilt down feature. They are heated side mirrors with power folding, and you can see they do have the integrated turn signal indicators. And it does have the body colored uh, door handles, and you have the lock unlock sensor as well. And I like this aluminum and shiny aluminum belt line trim and window trim too. Along the back side windows and the very back quarter panel, you can see there is dark privacy glass and up top there is a panoramic sunroof. Now let's take a look around the back. Out back, you see it does have the body colored mounted spoiler and it does have the integrated LED third brake light. And this is a power tailgate with fully automatic open and close functionality. And of course it is also height adjustable. Now it is a fixed rear window with a fixed interval wiper and it does have the defroster as well. And I absolutely love these three dimensional LED tail light design with integrated four point brake lights and that Porsche logo floating there in that rear light strip. Looks really cool. It's got some depth and detail. And of course, below that, you can see the Macan S script. This also is a body colored rear bumper and it does have the parking sensors as well. And you can see the reflectors and the backup lights down below. And speaking of below, below that is the matte black lower bumper trim and rear air diffuser. And this Macan is also equipped with a class three trailer hitch right there down below. And of course, let's talk about it. It's a Porsche. So it does have dual stainless steel exhaust with dual twin tube tailpipe finishers, and they are finished in a beautiful matte silver color. Let's take a minute to listen to that exhaust note. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Porsche. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this cargo area. The second row seats are split 40, 20, 40. And then under the cargo floor uh, is the tool kit and there are, there is, excuse me, the compact spare tire. Now, in back, maximum cargo volume behind the first row is 52.9 cubic feet. Max cargo volume behind the second row, as you see it here, is 17.6 cubic feet. Cargo floor length from the front row to the rear sill, 69 and a half inches. Cargo floor length to the second row to the rear sill, 38 and a half inches. Cargo width belt, uh, excuse me, cargo width at the belt line is 43 inches. Cargo width at the internal wheel houses is 41 and a half inches. Cargo opening height, ceiling to the floor or floor to ceiling, 28 and a half inches and lift over height ground to inside the vehicle 31 inches. Now let's talk about some of the safety systems available on this Porsche Macan. Well, there's Porsche stability management with anti-lock braking system. There's anti-slip regulation, automatic brake differential, hill descent control, hill hold control, engine drag torque control, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, and trailer stability management. So what are some of the packages available on this vehicle? Well, there's the premium package that includes the panoramic sunroof, lane change assist, heated front seats, auto dimming mirrors, Bose surround system, and more. And you can get the premium package plus that includes all the items in the premium package. However, it does add the ventilated front seats, the surround view camera system, and 14-way power seats with memory package. And of course, there are also a number of wheel and tire packages, and you can customize the interior with wood, carbon fiber, and leather surfaces in various cabin locations. Up next, let's talk about the dimensions. All right, well, starting to get a little rain out here, but that's okay. We usually do these through all types of weather, high wind, frigid minus 13 temperature, so no big deal. Anyway, Front track 65.2 inches, rear track 65 inches. Overall width 
82.6 inches, length 184.9 inches, height 64 inches, wheelbase 110.5 inches. It has a ground clearance of 8 inches, an approach angle of 16.9 degrees, a departure angle of 23.6 degrees, and a breakover or ramp angle at 16.9 degrees. It can <laughs> actually wade through water at a depth of 11.8 inches, and it has a curb weight of 4,293 pounds with a max payload of 1,395 pounds and a max towing of 4,409 pounds. Its turning circle is 39.3 feet and its fuel capacity is 19.8 gallons. So, how safe is the Macan? Well, IIHS and National Highway Transportation Safety Administration have not yet rated this vehicle. But what about performance? Well, zero to 65.1 seconds, standing quarter mile, 12.6 seconds at 107 miles per hour, top speed, 157 miles per hour, and just as importantly, 70 to zero, braking 155 feet. What do you think about its appearance? Well, I think it's the perfect blend of the larger Cayenne and the brand's proper sports cars in a sports package that doesn't look forced at all. It actually really, really works. And finally then, let's talk about the Macan's warranty. Well, you've got the basic warranty of four years, 50,000 miles. There is the powertrain warranty of four years, 50,000 miles. And stick with me here, folks. Got a pattern. Roadside assistance, four years and 50,000 miles. And finally, economy. Like I said, it is a sports car, but pretty good economy numbers. 18 city, 24 highway, and 20 combined. Now let's take a look inside, but before we do, check out my notes in the description below and please take a minute, mim a minute. <laughs> and please take a moment to give us a like, leave a comment, and do click on that subscribe button down below. So what do you say, Nate? Take it away. And stepping on the inside here, you're gonna notice right away the carbon fiber trim on the doors and then also there's some on the center dash here we'll show it to you in a minute i love the the red with the black combination uh, up here you have your window lockout you have your trunk release and then auto up and down all four windows left right mirror controls as well as your power folding button right here and then this is your um, blind spot monitoring system button to turn on and off that system the seats themselves are identical passenger and driver, and they are 14-way power, including an extendable front part right here. And then coming up here, you do have your light switch right here. This does have auto lights. You have your ignition key, which is on the left for uh, Porsches. And then coming up on the steering wheel right here on the left on the stock, you have your voice command button. And then you also have your cruise control on or off button right here. And then this sets your cruise. And this does have adaptive cruise control. And then right here in the corner, you have your odometer reset button. Now the seats themselves are leather. And I love this red color in here combined with the black. It is just really, really sharp. You'll notice some of the carbon fiber I talked about on the dash. You can see it on the other door there. And then it's right here in the corner by the infotainment screen on the right side of the steering wheel. And then again, right here on the left side of the steering wheel. I also love uh, the leather uh, cover on the dash along with the red stitching. Just really, really looks sharp. The dimensions in the front are as follows. There are, there are 36 inches of legroom, 39 inches of headroom, 27 inches of shoulder room, 24 inches of hip room, and it has a step in height of 19 inches. Let's step in and give it a start. All right, it is not a push start. It is an, a keyed start, but the key is like permanently in the dash and it's over here on the left. Okay, so um, first of all, the steering wheel has a, tr a traditional handle, like a manual handle, but it is electronic. So the tilt and telescope here is electronic. It just feels like a traditional handle underneath. 
Um, the dashboard itself, you got a 175 mile per hour speed, uh, speedometer. You've got a uh, trip meter right down in here. You've got uh, an analog tack and you've got a, a digital speedometer. You also got your gear uh, selector indicator right here. And then over here, you've got a uh, multi display, multi information display digital screen. All right, so over here on the left side of the steering wheel, if you push at the tip, this is your voice command button, it's also your turn signals. Okay, and then down below that is your on and off for cruise. And then, of course, you have a switch for adaptive cruise control underneath there, frets even further. So, this entire arm is it's just all cruise control. This one does your voice command lights. Over here, of course, you got your uh, uh, front and rear wipers. You've got nice um, paddle shifters back here. And then, of course, you've got your controls for your digital screen up here. You got phone. Here you've got a favorites button that you can set to do any number of things, and then you have volume. Your heated steering wheel button is actually behind here. And if you put there and click, you'll definitely feel it, and it will tell you that your heated steering wheel is on, or it'll tell you that it's off. This here is your mode selector. Uh, so if I rotate it, I get Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, which you can uh, then uh, program, and then you got Normal, okay? You also have the button right here that if you push this, it gives you a sport response, which is cool. Okay, so that's your mode button. Moving over to the infotainment screen, uh, you, this is 11.4 inch screen. Uh, it's uh, 665 watts of power. Uh, it has 12 speakers. It is a Bose system. It has AM and FM radio, HD radio, Sirius XM, uh, Bluetooth. And then, of course, it does have a 4G uh, LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, and it is constantly synced to the cloud, so automatic updates, all that kind of stuff. Very configurable, and uh, this is this particular package with the 12 speakers is sort of the mid-range. There's one other one above that, I think, that has 17 speakers in it. Uh, but this one is very, very nice. Um, you do have physical buttons for all of your digital buttons right here as well as a power on and off volume and then tune or scroll through different functions and you click on it to do it and then you get your events down here we will have a separate video uh, that talks about all the stuff in the driver's information screen and all the stuff on the infotainment screen uh, if you want to view that down below we've got a typical plethora of buttons so up here you have your hazards your uh, uh, front windshield defroster, you got your circulatory, and then you got your sync button for your climate. I love it that they put the sync button right in there. Over on the other side of the shifter, you've got your hill descent control, you've got your rear window, rear window defroster, you've got your AC max and your AC button. Now, on both sides, from this digital screen all the way down to here is basically all your climate stuff. So you've got temperature controls, you've got fan speed controls, you've got your zone controls, so where you want the air to blow, you've got the auto button right here, and then this one has heated seats. Now if it had ventilated seats, you'd, you'd have two switches right here in a row. Down here you've got traction control on or off. You do have an off-road uh, button on here, uh, and you can just click that on right here. You do have auto start, stop, defeat here, and you have your lane keeping uh, assist right here. Now, uh, this one does not have a steering wheel emblem by it, so it means it's just a lane keeping. It's not going to keep you in the lane, it's gonna warn you. If you have a steering wheel icon on here, it'll actually then uh, steer you and keep you in the lane. This one just warns you that you're going outside of the lane. All right, coming back a little bit further, you got a oh, Right in the middle here, you've got an electronic parking brake with a beautiful um, aluminum Macan sign right here. You do have a 12 volt power outlet down in here, and it's recessed enough that you could actually set something else in there. You do have two cup holders right here, and then underneath the armrest is where um, 
So uh, if you had a wireless charger, it would typically be located right in here. You've got uh, your uh, SIM card for your uh, your on online stuff. You got two USB C's, and then you can insert your own SD card for music if you want. Moving on over to the glove compartment, I love again that carbon fiber trim. This is a locking glove compartment. It's a damp, got a dampened opening, got a little pen holder, and you've got a very, very deep uh, glove compartment. A lot of room in there for storage. Coming up to the dashboard, you do have your uh, chrono timer right here. Uh, it functions as a clock, but then it will also uh, time you on laps. Up here, you do have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And that's just a power on off button. All right, so above here, you've got a, a plethora of buttons again. This is your power window shade, open and close. This is your power uh, panoramic sunroof, open and close. Up here, you can turn set the lights to not come on when the doors are open or on. This one will turn on all the front lights right here. So I don't think the rear lights, yep. This one will turn on all the front lights. This gives you your individual reading lights on each side. Um, this one right here turns on just the rear lights. This one right here gives you kind of a faint glow right in here. Okay. This turns on and off your parking sensors. This is your three home link buttons right here for your garage doors. Uh, so again, lots, lots, lots of buttons up there. So the visors have a slide open. They have an LED light above and a mirror, but they, and of course they will, you know, tilt back and forth, but they will not, they don't slide. They're not telescoping. Okay, time to step into the second row. The dimensions in the second row are as follows. There are 36 inches of headroom, 34 inches of legroom, 27 inches of shoulder room, 27 inches of hip room, and finally it had a step in height of 18 inches. Uh, in the second row, you've got the same nice carbon fiber trim on the doors. You've got your power window switch and one, uh, two of your uh, 12 speakers in your door. And then you've got, of course, a bottle holder. In the, uh, the far as the seats themselves go, you do have uh, storage right here, a storage pocket. In the center console, this is a tri-zone, so you do have the ability to do a three-stage uh, increase in heat or a uh, three-stage decrease in heat uh, for coolness. And then, of course, you can open and close your vents there, and you have two USB-C outlets right there. Okay, let's step in. Okay, so the seat is set to where it was comfortable for me to drive, and I've got well, shorter space here. I've still got a good inch of space uh, between my knees and the seat. And as far as headroom goes, oh my gosh. Yeah, I've got about an inch between myself and the headliner. And then, of course, oodles more um, for the center person in the middle. Um, on the middle here, you do have dual cup holders right here. And again, I like it that it's elevated. And you got a nice, comfortable area to set uh, both arms. Uh, that's even with the other one on, on the door. Um, you do have a coat hanger right here. You have another one right here. And then of course you have a reading lamp uh, right back here on both sides as well as a grab handle. So uh, this is a 60-40 split seat and it will fold flat down. Coming up next, let's go for a ride. Okay. My turn in the 21 Porsche Macan. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, right away I hopped in it and thought, boy, this is going to just drive stiff and just beat you and feel like a, a, a unsprung sports car with the handling and everything. And no, it's very quiet. It's very quiet in here. It's very a soft, supple ride and uh, very well cushioned on the rub strips and things in the road. So not bad at all. And the interior sounded quiet. It's like I said, even with the shade open and uh, on a not so great road, it's extremely quiet. I'm very, very surprised. Um, safety systems included. You know, you've got hill descent, you've got uh, uh, ABS, you've got uh, parking sensors, you've got adaptive cruise control, you've got the litany of modern technology built into this vehicle uh, for safety systems and, uh, you know, it's just a very, very safe system and a safe vehicle. 
uh, acceleration. We haven't gotten to a spot where I can try that yet, but uh, we will in just a second here. Okay. A little bit of turbo lag there. Not bad. It pops right up there very fast. I'm in like an industrial park, so I didn't want to go too fast. Oh, all oh, that acceleration is addictive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You could get addicted to that really quick. <laughs> um, interior fit and finish. This thing is gorgeous. I love all this carbon fiber. I love the contrasting red seats. I think it's called Red Garnet. Uh, the stitching, the brushed steel, the brushed uh, satin steel, it's beautiful in here. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got to say, this is the first time I've ever had an opportunity to drive a Porsche, and um, I love it. It's cool. So, coming up next, Nathan's going to take it for a spin and give you his thoughts on this magnificent, beautiful 21 Porsche Macan. Stay tuned. All right, my turn to drive, and I've got it set in normal mode, which is the comfort mode. So we will see here. Well, I tell you what, it's got a lot of pickup, that's for sure. Holy schmoly. Uh, kind of hard to believe you're driving an SUV. So right now I'm going over a road that's got a bunch of little strips in it and it's very dampened uh, very very comfortable ride we'll see here in a minute I'll switch it over to a uh, sport mode and see uh, if we feel a difference ease of getting in and out well uh, we've got a video overlaid here it was pretty easy getting in and out of both the front and the rear everything in here is laid out really nicely your voice command is uh, is really intuitive so you can speak to it in very natural tones operates a lot of things in the vehicle so that makes it really easy and there are a plethora of buttons uh, here if you want um, you know physical buttons to set everything and they're all right within reach um, and they're nice and raised got little bumps between them so you can kind of memorize as to which ones are which easy to park and maneuver yeah you know it's this doesn't feel like um, a, a, an SUV. Um, it really feels like a sports car. Uh, so handling is phenomenal. Um, I'm not sure I've been in one that's got better handling. It, in terms of parking, it does have uh, the rear view backup camera, which is very nice, along with front and rear parking sensors. Uh, so it's easy to uh, back into something. It does not have the 360 uh, camera system, but you can get that as an option if you want. So, overall, what a fun driving experience. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> I think I could sit in here all day long and drive. Well, that's our review of the 2021 Porsche Macan S, and we appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please click that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.